everyone! I'm back. I'm Jennifer Terry. I'm in Philippine Travel Updates. How are you guys? Um, for those who have asked you and messaged me, I'm okay. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to deliver some immigration updates. This is for those who are traveling during the busy season, just to remind you, you know, of like departure things. Um, also, plans for the future, Char. Now let's start off with immigration's press release reminding you guys, travelers, especially foreign nationals, to sell your fees. Sell your fees early. What are the fees immigration are talking about? It's your um, exit clearance. It's your travel tax. It are you updated with your authorized stay? So like for foreign tourists who are watching this, a lot of you will be visiting the country on Christmas. Just a reminder that your visa-free stay is only for 30 days. If you're planning on staying longer than that, say 32 days, 31 days, you still have to extend, right? It's better that you do your extension rather than paying the extension and the penalties at the airport. So that's easy peasy. You can do your extensions online, e-services.immigration.gov.ph, uh, e this website, or you can visit an immigration office. Or you know, guys, if you arrive in the country and you are at Terminal 3, you can actually do your extension right away. Um, you walk to the Bureau of Immigration one-stop shop that, that operates 24-7. But anyways, if you're not there, you can visit the office or do online. Meanwhile, for exit clearance, what is this, Jennifer? Well, the easy rule is if you're a foreign tourist and you've stayed for six months or more, ECC. Meanwhile, travel tax, it's a, it's a uniform rule for everyone, for all foreign nationals. If you've stayed for one year in the country, you will be paying travel tax. How much? If you have an economy flight, it's 1,620 pesos. Um, travel tax can be paid online as well or at the airport. The Bureau of Immigration Commissioner recommends you settle your fees to cut your waiting time. To avoid you know, long queue at the airport's cashier. Also, they encourage you to use the e-service, the, the online website of the immigration. But if you're a tourist, do things you can do there, which is very handy. You can do your online extensions. You wanna extend, you can do it online. If you're an immigrant here, or you're holding other visas, you can also get your exit clearance there. Um, there is dual citizenship, but um, just just from what I've heard from people, people who applied for dual citizenship in the Philippines, it took them months. So I don't recommend it unless you like you live close to the main office and you are staying in the Philippines indefinitely. You have plenty of time, then go ahead. But for you guys, if you're considering of applying for dual citizenship, I strongly recommend it doing it abroad. It's just much faster just based on what I've heard from many people. Hey, if you've got experience, comment down below. Meanwhile, the immigration thanked the DOJ and the Senate for their approved budget of 2.67 billion pesos, which will be mainly used for ICT projects, specifically adding additional e-gates at airports, and listen to these guys, to be deployed at both arrival and departure areas. E-gates. We have e-gates only at arrival. Departure? No, we don't. Um, they've said the same thing years ago, but they haven't installed it yet. I hope they will finally. Having an e-gates at departure, imagine the comfort, mga Pinoy. Like, for my fellow Kababayans, Filipinos, not having to go through the intimidating immigration officers. Just scan your passport and off you go. You know, when I read this news that they will deploy, that they're planning on putting on e-gates at departure areas, I really got excited because I thought, siguro finally, there will be less offloading or that it won't happen again. But then I read another news that hmm, the immigration also bought like 16 million worth of body cameras. Yeah, so siguro they have they have plans of putting e-gates at departure, pero meron pa rin second interviews. I, I don't know how that's gonna happen, but anyways, they plan on replacing all their manual gates to e-gates by 50% by 2026. So like in three years time, two years time, half 
is e-gates. Like, how about going in along 100% char? But going back to that, if e-gates, you're arriving in the country, the Bureau of Immigration encourages my fellow Filipinos, fellow Philippine passport holders to use this. Yes, guys, I, you know, I, when I arrived in the country last year, December, I was a lot quicker than others because I went through e-gates rather than lining up on manual, you know, manual immigration clearance. I went through the e-gates and it was a lot faster. I, I remember coming home last year, December, and no one was like giving people instructions. People were just lining up everywhere. When there was an e-gate, fellow Filipino, dun kayo guys, super dali. Just keep your boarding pass and your passport with you. Ganern. But it's not for children last time I checked. Yeah, but if you're an adult, Go, go, go. According to immigration, not a lot of people uses the e-gates. In, in fact, last October 31 data that they have, out of the 32,000 umuwe, only 5,000 use the e-gates. So, yeah, use it, guys. <laughs> it's like 45 seconds now if you go through there. Yeah. So basically, guys, when it comes to immigration, it's just a summary. If you're traveling during the busy season, the holidays, November, December, January, and even February, half of it's still very busy. If you're traveling, yeah, sell your fees. If you make sure you're up to date with your authorized stay. Again, if you're a foreign tourist, you know, Americans, Canadians, Europeans, the majority of you guys, you come here in the country visa-free. Again, you're only given visa-free stay for 30 days. 30 days, not 59 not six months, whatever. Um, the new law, it, it's not yet adapted. Okay, so it's still 30 days as of speaking. And um, e-travel, still do that. It's still a requirement that is still in place. I don't think it's going anytime soon. I think it's here to stay. So do that <laughs> properly. You've probably heard of the news of a, a traveler who like, wrote profanities in their e-travel and then uh, yeah deported blacklisted whatever yeah <laughs> i know you're not that you guys are very chill <laughs> and then what else for tourists um filipinos ayan uwi kayo if e-gates are available avail it and if you are a tourist leaving the country, expect nga ganun pa rin po. Offloading still happens and I don't think it's going away anytime soon. Again, bibili pa nga sila ng cameras. So, secondary inspection will still be happening. So, that's all the update I can share to you guys. Advance, happy advance, Merry Christmas, and God bless you all and stay safe.